During the production of our opening sequence, I had to learn more about using the camera. This involved learning how to pan smoothly with the tripod, how to zoom smoothly at the right speeds, and how to focus shots properly, as well as how to set up and adjust the tripod in the first place. Before filming the main task, I had little knowledge of how to use the camera other than from the preliminary task, when the camera wasn't as professional as it could have been. We used the camera to explore different types of shots to represent the behaviour of our characters. Learning how to use the camera properly meant that we were less restricted by lack of experience. We had to set up a WordPress blog to document our progress with the main task. I was already familiar with this platform but had to learn how to link slide shares I made for research purposes, upload images, for example my script and mood board. This blog also had to be updated regularly so we had to maintain it throughout the process of planning and filming our opening sequence. YouTube videos of our behind the scenes footage, video diaries and rough cuts also had to be uploaded to this blog using the HTML feature. Overall, I think our use of the blog was very successful in terms of showing our progress with the production of our opening sequence. When editing the opening sequence, I had to learn to use the features of Final Cut Pro I hadn't used previously. I already knew how to cross-cut the clips together, but I also had to insert dissolves between these clips to make them flow together well, something I hadn't done much before. I also had to learn how to use filters on the clips in a way I hadn't before, so that it was brighter in the shots of the antagonist and darker in Zanisa's scenes to emphasise the contrast between them. Sound effects also had to be overlaid in the audio to edit the way it sounded, especially at the end when the music was particularly distorted. A horror drone sound also had to be inserted into the opening sequence to assist with the build-up of the tension, something I had not used before in a media product. I think that more experience with using Final Cut Pro and Max themselves will provide me with the confidence to take more of a leading role in the editing process. I wish we could have used professional lighting equipment as we were limited to using just a lamp to get as close to our desired lighting as possible. I think our lighting was relatively successful considering our lack of equipment, but could have been improved with this equipment so that we could rely less on filters in the editing process. We also successfully uploaded our rough cuts and video diaries onto YouTube on a regular basis. There was no dialogue in our opening sequence, so we had no issues with sound quality, despite the camera not having the best microphone. The lack of dialogue was advantageous considering this microphone quality.